got two questions, but I'm going to kind of squeeze them into one, if you like. One is just one word that would describe your experience today. And the other is, if there is anything that in, has inspired you or excited you from today, what are your hopes for the, the, follow, for the project coming up? Can I stop? Um, yeah, fascinating. Um, hopes for the project coming up, that it will be able to make me go away and think about new ideas about other things that we can do in the future. Uh, learning, I guess is my one word. Um, and what my hope would be is that we have an engagement of young people in this huge problem, because I think there's an interest uh, in young people to participate and try and solve this problem. So no, that would be what I'd hope. Complex. <laughs> you never got the answer, did you? No, complicated. <laughs> and trying to think about what the what the what the what the human stories are that aren't too complicated. Lightning, um, the views of, of the different groups, um, but also progressive during the day to see how those changed. Um, and from the projects, um, I, probably even more enlightening. Op optimistic would be, would be my one word. And what, what I would hope that we'd manage to get out of, of the rest of this would be actually leading to some long-term engagement among the young people in wanting to be part of the solution to this in the future. It is insightful and I think for the future, again, it's about engaging people. It's good. It will be good to see more people raise, well, raise more awareness about how healthcare could be delivered in the future. But uh, unexpected. Was, there were some unexpected things happening today. And my expectation about the project is that it will be something, uh, it will come up with something that will induce people who are not here today because we, I, I, I've witnessed all these young people and they are really enthusiastic about the whole thing. So well, for my own, uh, from my own uh, uh, perspective, it really could the outcome of this can be something that similarly induce others. Perhaps make them aware of some of the uh, intricacies of this, of this area, but definitely. So uh, <laughs> that, that so many people are saying that this way that we heard uh, and I didn't know that, that these are the, the opinions I mean I didn't expect these opinions and this concentration in the room and the other one is the project outcome is uh, I would say I would expect uh, unrestricted new ideas of young minds uh, in the uh, in the future because uh, we are pretty much restricted of what we've seen, what we've read in white papers and what's out there and what's currently out there. Uh, I've spent a lot of time, in, time imagining new sensors and whatever you can do with this technology, but I think even myself, I'm, I'm, I'm too restricted in my thinking and probably young people will have uh, much more freedom. I guess finally, uplifting. The word being uplifting to know that the, the youngsters, especially so many of them, are interested and that they have some form of knowledge and understanding of what's going on. Um, but in terms of the day, I think you're right about the structure, um, in terms of putting a structure together that was for the audience that was there and having that down. Um, but I think that, that from the questions that were asked um, amongst the, the, seniors, the seniors that were there and amongst the, the youngsters that were there, they weren't just ordinary questions. You could tell that they'd thought about that. A lot of thought had gone into them. And to be honest with you, the other word I would use is probably impressed, you know, because it, it showed a level, actually, of, of intellect that I don't recall having when I was their age. So, <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm well impressed, actually. So good on them. And there was a couple of uh, uh, kids in there who were genuinely interested in science. And you know what? That made me happy. Really good. <laughs> Some of the conversations that were going on that you weren't aware of, I mean, yes, you were having conversations with young people as well, but the conversations between the old people and the young people, walking up the stairs, the lunch and stuff, were about the technologies that you were talking about and about the risks mm. and about the benefits. And that was really quite special to follow on behind and listen to as well, is that there were a couple of lads who were actually, he looked like he was asleep for most of it, 
<laughs> but he was but talking to one of the ladies and like had yeah. a full on in depth mm. conversation. Was, if you read, and then, apart from why are peanuts nice, spelled in the most <laughs> horrific way, <laughs> some of the questions up there are really interesting and well thought out. And again, some of the words about how they describe today and stuff are quite interesting. Um, I think they've, they've got a huge amount of it, and those yeah. of you that do come along to that kind of creative workshop where we suck all that information out of them again, we'll be really surprised just how much.